When most people think of text expansion, they think of something magical. Like for instance, I'm going to type SDS, and there it is, Sean D'Souza, PSX, and that's psychotactics.com. PX would make psychotactics, but I could also do something quite amazing, like type in browser X, and then it would get me a whole paragraph. And this is very useful every day when clients write to you or something that almost like a form answer. It's very useful for things like that. But, you know, Text Expander goes even further or any text kind of thing that you use. Now, if you're running a course or if you're attending a course like a psychotactics course, you'll know that formatting is critical. So formatting for your blog, formatting for uh, forums, formatting is critical. So how do we do the formatting? Now, let's say I wanted to make that bold. How do I go about it? Well, I could click on bold. That's simple, but what if I wanted to do something like make it bold and a title text and maroon? So I would have to do bold, then I would have to do large, and then I would have to choose the color. And now if we preview that, what we get is a title. So that's a title there. The problem is that I have to do this over and over again. And if I have an article, I probably have to do this 10, 12 times. So what do I do? Instead, you can set up something within Text Expander or your text expansion program. And now just watch this trick, okay? So I'm going to press Command C and then type TX and that's it. And then when I preview it, what I get is title text. If I wanted it to be just bold, but with red text, then I press Command C and then I type BX, and these are my shortcuts, of course, and I preview it, and as you can see here, it's got that shade. Now, I can't remember exactly what blue is, but I'm going to take a chance on it. So Command C, and then BLX, and yes, of course, it's showing up in blue. So notice what's happening. This is just taking a few seconds, and I can whip through an article and format it in a few seconds instead of several minutes and pressing several buttons. So not only is Text Expander extremely useful for just any kind of expansion, but it's also useful for things like this. The other thing is, supposing you're doing features and bullets, for instance, and you type features and bullets or features and benefits several times a day, like I do. So there you go, features and benefits. I just typed F-E-A-X and it showed up. So I use this also for terms that I use a lot, target profile, or problem, or say products and services. I use that a lot. <laughs> so product or service. So it's not just useful for just plain text expansion, but it's also useful for formatting, and it's also useful for terms that you use on a regular basis. Your text expansion will do this. I know this is how Text Expander works. Find out how yours does it, and if you need the shortcuts for our forum, well, I can give you that, and you can just paste it into Text Expander. That's me, Sean D'Souza, saying, save time, because, you know, you can use it to do other stuff instead of just doing the same old thing in the same old way and then saying, you're too busy. Bye for now.